Welcome back everyone, and I know we've been talking about Big Navi a whole lot in RDNA 2, but well, it's a different kind of day and we're gonna do something a little different. I'm not really certain how this ended up here at my desk, but what we have here is the Xbox Series S, this little bitty thing here. And um, you know what, I wanna see RDNA 2, so we're gonna open this up. We're gonna look at some Zen 2 cores, RDNA 2, and well, just generally how this thing comes apart. So. Uh, Let's jump into breaking this thing. I mean, taking it apart. So let's let's do that. All right, guys. So here it is. This is the Xbox Series S. It's super tiny. I mean, it's not like absurdly small, but it is quite small. You notice here there are no screw holes along the bottom. So it kind of, the best I can tell by looking at it a little bit before I got started was under here. I would imagine I can feel little divots where there may be screws. So I'm gonna start there. Um, and there's no warranty labels, which is kind of interesting. I like that. Uh, yeah, there we go. There's a Torx bit there. All right, so we got those off there. Let's see what Torx bit it will use. Let's see. That's a T10. I bet that's gonna be close to it. It's a little big. Jump down a couple of spots. All right, T8 it is. Let's go ahead and set that there. This is my not uh, iFixit toolkit. It's my, uh, I got it off Amazon on sale toolkit. Wow, that's awful flimsy, but all right, we'll see how that comes apart. All right, take and screw out. I'm gonna ramble throughout this as we do this, so if you don't like that, go ahead and turn on some background music and just watch it. Uh, two screws out. Oh, well that was easy enough. A uh, little cushy pads here. Uh, you know, I guess to brace for impact. I'm gonna go ahead and set those there. Screws over here with it. Uh, flip it over so you guys can get a look at it. This is the, um, well, the bottom of it's mostly just metal. Plastic is awful loose there. So, I mean, it's not really a problem. Let's see here, T8, a little small. Let's jump back over here to a T10. Uh, it's very compact. I mean, we already knew that, but uh, in, in the past, the green screws have been the one that holds the frame together, so I'm going to go ahead and pull those out first. I'm not sure that it really matters which order that I pull them out in, so I'm just going to go around the outside and end up in here. I'm actually, this is the part that I'm most excited about, so we can go ahead and take the heat sink off. I want to see under it. I want to look at the chip itself. I want to see how the memory's arranged, all that good stuff. And the other thing I want to see here is the storage because they were all, all about this NVMe lifestyle here. And me personally, I love NVMe drives. Um, my personal desktop, I use a Silicon Power US70 PCIe Gen 4 drive for my one terabyte for my primary drive. And the secondary drive is a, uh, what is that? It's a an Adata SX8200 Pro two terabyte, that's where I keep all my games. So super fast Gen 4 for primary drive, so booting, storage, all my applications run off of that, as well as all my video editing and stuff, like the video you're seeing here. It's all done off that drive. All right, let's see here. Uh, okay, this is, looking at that, let's see. Oh, well that was, that's not that hard. That's a lot better than the um, 1S. So definitely credit on that. Super plastic, you can see, I mean, what did you expect? It's a plastic shell for the 1S. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna set it, I'm gonna set it back here behind me on my desk. And then we have, ooh, nice soft. See, this is attached very well here. See the fan off in there and little daughter boards here. I'm gonna go ahead and start with taking these off. Let's see. T10 too big. I bet you those are going to go back to a T8. There's no ribbon cables coming off of it that I can see. So my money is on, there's a plug on the back of it. So it's going to just plug right in. Now, if you're wondering about the experience with the uh, S so far, I haven't really played a whole lot. I've actually pulled up some of the older games that were troublesome with the old Xbox. So I played Rise, Son of Rome, Batman, Arkham Knight. I know those are not S or X enhanced games because I've only had this thing for a few hours and just got it all updated. And uh, let's see, let me stop talking for a moment. Oh, look at that. Boom, comes right off. It's got a little connector there. So we set this to the side. Uh, and honestly, it ran those, ran those games very well. I didn't, it, the frame rate was good and stable. It wasn't jumping all over the place like it used to be. Uh, so that is nice. 
I will, I will agree with everyone. I don't think there's anybody that has said 512 gigs of SSD storage is exactly adequate for a next gen system. Um, it's definitely something that's going to either sway people to upgrade to the Series X because I don't, I just don't see a lot of people at least up front buying this and the storage. So for me personally, I primarily play games on PC, but there are some games on console that I like to play. And uh, the fact that these have quick resume and they do load up way faster than I expected them to. And I can break away from my computer and play a game on the console, especially those console uh, more native games, I guess you could say that it's just for me. Oh, that's nifty. For me, it's a, a bit of a break in my day from sitting at my computer working whenever I'm not at my primary job when I'm working. All right, let's see. Uh, we've still got some screws back here, but let's see. Let's see how this comes off. Is this? Oh, it just comes right off. Didn't expect that. I've been throwing it around and that's it. It just comes right off. So I'm going to set that back there with the other cover. And there you go. That's very clean. Uh, huge fan, real large sweeping fins. Uh, you're not going to be able to just replace this fan with whatever. It's very clearly a proprietary design. It's clipped onto the heat sink under it. Speaking of which, let's see, we got one. Uh, trying to see how many screw holes. This is your power supply. Uh, look at that. Master, uh, Master Chief was on it. What do you know? I'm glad I did this now so there's no dust floating around in it so you guys can't see a bunch of uh, dust from my office. Let's see. All right, look at that. Look at that. It's still, ooh, those are in there good. Uh, it's still a Torx 8, so not a lot's changed there. Still, you can, looks like uh, the only thing you need a bigger one for is just those initial screws. Everything else here has been a Torx 8, so it makes that very simple. See, I'm gonna go ahead and just take all these out because we're gonna pull the motherboard by the time we're done with this. So we're gonna just pull them all, get them all together. This is taking longer than I thought it was going to. Actually, it's really not. Um, I was worried that I was gonna have to spend a lot of time editing the video and cutting things down. But if you guys don't mind listening to me ramble while we take this apart, let's see. I don't really know what games that I want to play the most. If you guys are listening still and you're you've gotten to this part, what uh what games would you recommend that I play? See, um, I play mostly on PC, so I'm not really certain what to do with this thing. Let's see. Did I get it all? I think so. Oh. Oh, it just kind of pulls right up. Oh, because it has um, a thermal pad here. Ew, that's going to be interesting. See, this is where the external drive goes and I just ripped. That's, that's nasty. That's nasty, guys. Not a big fan of that. Let's see if I can get that to zoom in. It's just gunky thermal paste. That should be a pad, but whatever. Um, in here, there's a, the chipset is actually a Microsoft Xbox One. That's weird. What is this? Oh, well, that came out. Um... I hope that's supposed to come out because I just took it out. All right, let's see here. Is this held in? Yep, looks like it's it's actually got a screw in it there. It's got another screw. Doesn't look like it. All right, we're down here. Let's get this one. Now I got to pay a little bit better of attention because I don't want to break anything at this point because there's no warranty and I really don't want to send an email to somebody like, hey, so that uh, Xbox you guys sent over, I broke it. Let's see. That Let's see. I'm sure somebody's there going, oh my God, he's going to break it. Probably. I have been known to break stuff before. Let's see, is there another? You know what? I bet that screw right there. Let's go ahead and take this one out. I should have went ahead and just took them all anyway. Then the only thing that we'll have left is going to be this one, this one, this one, this one. So we'll pull that out here in just a moment. Let's see. Oh, yeah, look at that. Came right out. Uh, it's not really just your normal PWM fan, but I guarantee it's PWM fan. It's like my day job. I'm used to seeing those. It's got a nice little uh, padding foam around the side to make sure that you got good seating 
Fan Zero One Thermal System. That's very, uh, oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? You can see down in there. All right, you know what? Let's finish ripping it apart. Interested in some of these pieces here. Oh, well, let's see. Continues to be Torx 8. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Set that there. Do, 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 do. I hope I don't really mess this thing up. I don't know if they got some kind of... I hope it uses thermal pad, uh, paste and not those like graphite pads because I don't have a graphite pad to put under it if I break it. So it's maybe, I may have never, act, may never actually get to use this. Maybe just a really nice paperweight. I'll let you guys know in the comments if it works whenever I'm done, so don't worry. Maybe I'll pin that one. Also, I'm going to pin in there whether it works or not, as well as information on where you can find gameplay footage running. Uh, oh, goodness, this thing's falling apart here. Uh, gameplay footage for the this console, as well as PS5 and more. We have a separate channel that we keep all the gameplay on. We used to do it all here, but we decided to move, shift some things around. Oh look, there's a thermal pad there. Oh look, memory chip on the back. Okay. So you got a memory chip on the back that's cooled with the casing here. And then this is this year M.2 um, NVMe drive. You know what? Before we take the heat sink off, I wanna I wanna pop that out. I wanna see what it is. I wanna see if it's a consumer drive. If it's a consumer drive, in that pinned comment, I'll let you know whether I can plug it into my desktop and actually see anything on it. Oh, it's a Western Digital SN 530, 512 gig SSD. This is just a typical consumer drive, guys. This isn't anything special. I mean, it's not a bad drive. It's a good drive. I've got an SN uh, 500, uh, 500. That's a really good drive. Um, I wonder if I can upgrade this. That's that's nifty. Um, okay, uh, I'm going to pull this to the side here. We'll look at that later. Let's see, this is where things get interesting because these are not the most fun thing to take apart, but they're not the hardest either. Let's see, there we go. I'm sure somebody out there is cringing. Oh, we've lost it. It's come loose. There we go. Oh, got it off, guys. There we go. All right, let's let's uh, let's flip it over. Let's see what we're working with. Oh, look at that! There it is. Let's see if we can get it to fixate in there. There you go. That's it. The rest of this is kind of on there. I don't want to risk um, pulling it off and having uh, further troubles. But uh, so there we go. We've got the. Um, that's it, that's the Xbox Series S. I guess it's uh, time for me to put it all back together and see if I can play with it. All right guys, hope you enjoyed the video. You know what to do from here.